All right, yes. By the sound of your uh, cell phone, it seems that we are live. So, As a matter of fact. <laughs> we are live, yes. Epic. It can be verified. It can be verified. All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this live stream. Uh, this live stream is going to be uh, a little bit different. Uh, we are basically going to uh, remove any chance of another privacy complaint being anywhere close to legit. Not that the previous ones were legit, but, you know, just kind of get rid of any fucking question. Uh, we are going to do this entire hangout uh, with no visuals whatsoever. The only thing you're going to see throughout this entire hangout is just my logo on repeat. So fucking deal with it. But you'll get to listen to our beautiful voices. Well, at, you know, Sean's beautiful voice, uh, AT2 Productions and I, uh, not so much. Yeah, not even close. Not even fucking close. Uh, Sean Hufford here with the voice of fucking God and everything like that. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, uh, fuck off. Anyway, so uh, welcome everyone. So, Jared, how's it going? It's been a day. It has certainly been a day. Been a day. And Sean Hufford, how are you doing? I'm still breathing. You're still breathing. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. So uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this. And I'm going to start off by we uh, by reading uh, a uh, a message that I just got at Red's Rhetoric. I find your voice soothing. That's what the fuck is wrong. With what you? the yeah? Somebody needs to. So, there, there's a thing called Q-tips. I advise them. Seek highly. seek help. Just seek help. That means that you are very close to rock bottom. You, you, you gotta seek help, dude. Listen, listen, listen. Sometimes alcohol is the answer. If you're finding my voice soothing, you need a shit ton of it. Wait, no. Alcohol is not the... It's not the answer, but it is a solution. <laughs> soothing like cats having sex. <laughs> no, there's, there's actually a sound worse than that, and that's the male cat being stuck inside of a house wanting to get out to get sex. That sounded <laughs> creepy as hell. Can't say I've ever heard that one. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's literally like you hear a ghost saying hello over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with us? That, that's going to be stuck in my head for a while. Now. Thanks, John. You're welcome. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Furball says that's the sound he's been making for 10 months. <laughs> <laughs> that is, oh, that is, okay, okay. We're, we're off to a great start. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, we're going to give you some update on the whole uh, FE core situation. Um, so make sure the hashtag against fee Cole is uh, trending. And uh, we will go ahead and get this hangout going. So first off, I want to give it to Sean motherfucking Hufford because he has a question. Yeah, I've, I've got a question. Um, Jaron, I'm, I'm doing this at the beginning and we're going to make sure this one stays up so you actually have to address this. Um, on your Sunday stream, you made the comment that, you know, you, you fully support freedom of speech. You'd never do copyright strikes. So that's kind of a crappy thing to do. And you will fight for your right well, you were re re replying to your audience, you would fight for their right for free speech. Why aren't you calling out Mike Kavanaugh for violating everybody's right for free speech with false privacy strikes, mm -hmm. which removes videos without the opportunity to have that defended? Why aren't you fighting for everybody's right for free speech by encouraging it and allowing it to go on? Your president of your company is violating free speech for everybody. Company or organization? Organization, sorry. Got it. Got it. So why don't you stand up behind your words, or are you going to puss out because you don't want to get kicked out of FE Corp? Well, see, and here's the thing. As a registered board member of the organization, you do have a voice there, Jism. And, and the reason I bring there's actually a reason why I bring this up is because Sly Sparkane actively got seven privacy complaints. 
a company is not allowed to file a complaint. Each mm-hmm. individual that's had their pri- their privacy violated have to do an individual complaint. He got seven complaints. There are seven board members. You claim you had nothing to do with that. So now you have to ask yourself, which member of that company or organization filed in your name? Which again is fraudulent. So yep. you're either lying about not filing that complaint against Sly or somebody in your organization has filed on your behalf, which is against the law. Yep, and also, I did want to give a little bit of an update. Um, Oh, with the same guys who laughed hysterically when I was banned from PayPal for no reason at all? Fuck off! I said my piece. Never have and never would issue a copyright to any of you guys I simply don't watch easy. That was a response from Jaren on my Skype. So, in other words, Jaren literally doesn't give a fuck that his organization is trouncing on freedom of speech. Yes. Uh, so thank, basically, thank for asserting that, Jaren. So basically, he said, uh, or what I said in reply was, uh, so fight for free speech, but with exceptions. Got it. So Jaren will say one thing, do another. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the update that I got, and that was at uh, let's see, that was at two nineteen p.m. today, Eastern. So, so catch me up to speed here. Now Jaren's saying he's nothing to do with anything that's going on, right? Correct. Well, he tried, but clearly he doesn't back up his own words that he says to his audience because he's got to look like the good guy. But behind closed doors, he's a complete and total prick, just like Mike Cavanaugh. I, 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 again, I have no evidence for, for this whatsoever because for all I know, someone else is fraudulently making these claims on his behalf. But one thing I will say is that Jaronism is not going to fight for free speech. He's not going to fight censorship. He is going to stand on the sidelines while, while Mike or whoever the fuck else goes ahead and commits perjury. But what he doesn't understand, though, is because he's tied to FE Core, he's also liable for it. Correct. Way to go, Jaron. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, let me go ahead and get everyone uh, up to speed, including uh, you fight the Flat Earth. By the way, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Someone shined the cunt signal, so I thought I'd better turn up. Of course, of course. Always always showing up with the cunt signal. So um, FE Core was uh, recently exposed by Sean Hufford, which prompted other YouTubers, such as Sly Sparkane, to look into this a little bit further. I, and, I, don't, want to take, I don't want to take all credit for the expose on FE Core because- You first, are an inspiration. First, no, there was somebody who actually did a really good job before me, and believe it or not, he's actually a flat earther. I, I of course, am speaking of Flat Earth Reset. He, ah. did, he did the groundwork, I expanded on it, Sly is gone and expanded on my expansion and put it in a much more eloquent way. Um, Mm -hmm. But yeah, I am not the beginning of the FE Core investigation by no means. Uh, That goes entirely to Flat Earth Reset. All right. Fair enough. enough. Um, Has anyone else's butt hurt meter like exploded whilst all this has been going on? Oh, oh, it's it's uh, it's it's been pinged for the last few days. Um, No, no. You remember those uh, round gauges and cartoons, how they would just continually spin? Yeah. That's what's going on. Ah, uh, yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> I see. Uh, so it's basically tr- uh, trained towards infinity. But let me uh, let me get back to it. So, anywho, uh, there was an expose done uh, uh, in a video that was made by Slice Barcane because Slice Barcane recently spoke to the chairman of FE Core, and he suggested that Slice Barcane do his own research into FE Core. Slice Barcane did. And let's just say the video that was made wasn't exactly to FE Core's liking. It, it, can, can we say uh, signing your own death warrant? Kind of, yeah. I mean, that would be fair. That would be fair, definitely. Uh, so so here's, what they, here's what they did. Uh, Slice Barcane posts this, posts this video, and uh, Slice Barcane, uh, you know, leaves the video up, but then he gets a message from... From Mike or some other mm-hmm. member of FE Core. I think it was Mike. It was and Mike. It was Mike. And said that I am going to have so much fun <laughs> abusing YouTube's easily abusable system against you and your friends. Not exact wording, but paraphrased. And uh, sure as shit, that's exactly what happened. Because Sly Sparkane made a video that exposed FE Core for the frauds mm. that they are, they decided to respond by issuing fraudulent 
copyright strikes against Slice Arcane. And then they went a step further and issued not one, not two, but seven privacy complaints. And everything that, that FE Core has done to Slice Arcane has been illegitimate and also illegal. So not only are we uh, are we dealing with shit on the Sly Sparkane side, but then I come into the picture and say, fuck you, Effie Core. They decide to say fuck you back, and they uh, went to my video, which was not my video. It was a mirror of a live stream that Sean Hufford did. Now, they claim that uh, they did not strike the entire video, or they did not claim the entire video as <laughs> copyright, I should say. Yeah, see, see how that fucking turned out. Um, but what they... Uh, were bitching about was the fact that I used their their logo in my uh, thumbnail, which was wait, wait, their wait. logo equals a poop emoji. Correct me if I'm wrong, but can brand logos that they they can't be used the copyright. Yeah, right? they, they no nope, no nope. they cannot be uh, they can, cannot be copyright claimed. The only the only protection that would have possibly is trademark laws. But I wasn't passing off my video as being from Fe Core. I wasn't yeah. claiming that I was a member of FE Corp because unlike them, I actually have a fucking brain between my ears. So, Wait, so well, are they are what, they what? claiming that your that their logo is equivalent to a poop emoji? <laughs> yes. Let me just let me just cover this real quick because this is something I actually looked up today and I actually got in contact with the lawyer that covered this case. State versus Brule. Ultimately, privacy law protects people in social media the same way it protects them elsewhere. Your voluntarily posting of personal and intimate information waives any reasonable expectation of privacy, at least as to that information. Mm -hmm. FE Core has publicly posted their names and their pictures. They have waived any expectation of privacy at that point. This they is... cannot legally file privacy complaints versus this information. Since that's the only information that was shared from that website, they have no grounds to stand on for a privacy claim. This is it's why. Like this is why we have been saying that the uh, complaints made against Slice Sparkane uh, have been fraudulent. But this story gets even better. And fight the flat earth, you're gonna love this. And if you guys have been following me on Twitter, then all of you guys are aware that I received not one but two privacy complaints against uh, my previous hangout, the one that I made yesterday. And the hangout before that, uh, both of them uh, titled FE Core and their abuse of copyright and, you know, fucking privacy complaint bullshit. So anyway, there, there were two parts of it. They decided to issue a, a uh, privacy complaint against both of them. Both of them on the exact <laughs> same day, which was today. So they decided to fraudulently copyright my video which i've already uh sent a counter uh notification so we'll see how that turns out but now i'm stuck with these two uh privacy complaints on my channel and i'm still thinking of how to deal with it they say that i have 48 hours to do something um but uh, i'll probably have an answer for you by the end of this hangout but as of right now that's where we are uh fe core because of the amount of but hurt that has been uh you know acquired by them let's say because of slice of arcane's video uh have decided to respond by issuing fraudulent copyright and privacy complaints against slice of arcane and then branching out to slice of arcane's friends and here's the thing they said that they were going to do this they said that th that there would be a campaign of targeted harassment this is not my opinion this is something that was said directly by Mike because there are screenshots showing him saying just that. There will be a targeted campaign of harassment against Slice well, Marquette it, and his friends. It's not just screenshots. The emails still exist. Yes. Now, on top of that, I was uh, – uh, is lucky the right word? Uh, lucky to be in – Having an email exchange with uh, FE Core, the FE Core team, as if they had a fucking team. Um, but uh, the thing is, is that uh, this uh, email exchange. Oh, speaking of email exchange, um, going over the privacy restrictions for YouTube, mm -hmm. um, the things that they'll actually take into consideration as part privacy violations is images, voice, full name, government identification number, bank account number contact information, example, home address, email address, or other uniquely identifiable information. 
the contents of an email, which was what was shown, are not protected under privacy. Mm-hmm. And also to uh, to get back to the emails and what was said in the email, uh, a lot of the emails that have been sent to me have absolutely fucked over Effie Core. They have basically fucked over any chance of having a preferred outcome if this actually went to court on their side. So, for example, they admit in an email sent to me that the reason why they filed a copyright claim against my mirror of Sean Hufford's video was not because I used their logo, actually. They just didn't like the fact that it was uh, made to reference a poop emoji. <laughs> and then, uh, actually, oh, let me... Childish. Well, well, let me uh, let me actually be very clear about about this because uh, they brought issue with the title. They brought issue with uh, with the uh, content of the video. So let me just uh, get this uh, up so I don't misquote or say something they actually didn't say. Okay, so this is their quote: "Our brand logo can be used by anyone under fair use, which we have no issue with." Your use, however, together with the title of the video, is still slanderous since there is zero proof of fraudulent activities. Effie Cor, Mike, listen clearly. Slander does not fall under copyright law. Once again, thank you for admitting to everyone that you made the claim because of slander and not because of copyright. You, sir, just admitted to making a false copyright claim. Wait, would that be a fraudulent claim? Yeah, right. I think yes, it was. It would. Meaning that there isn't any slander in the first place? Uh, yes, there yes, yeah, small problem with that, I say. Uh so this so this is my words. This is my words back to them. I wrote, small problem with that. It's not slander since we have proof of your fraudulent activities. An example would be, again, the fake address you use for your headquarters as seen <laughs> in my mirror of Sean's video. Oh, and here's another jam, uh gem. Slander does not fall under copyright law. Thanks for admitting you made a claim because of slander and not because of copyright. You have just admitted to making a false copyright claim, and I cannot thank you enough. In parentheses, take screenshot. Okay, so um, if YouTube start taking notice of all the, at this point, thousands of tweets that we've all done, whose channels could actually be affected by this? Because obviously FE Core, the board members, include like Jaronism and Bob. So does that mean that Jaronism and Bob's channels could yes. potentially a any, have backlash? Any well, channel yeah. connected to the fraudulent claims <laughs> by email. I love it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everybody who's filed fraudulent claims, even for privacy, including Bob, Jaron, Karen B, Rick Hummer, um, Sandor, whatever his last name is. <laughs> um, oh, who am I forgetting? Brian. Uh, uh, it's it, they're, they're all they're all shit eaters but, anyway. But all of their channels that are tied to their their email address for when they file those complaints, <laughs> they're at risk now, because Mike got a bug up his butt and says we mm -hmm. need to censor these people from exposing us for the frauds that we are. Yes. Oh my god, this is almost the most flurf move that they've ever pulled because it's going to backfire so spectacularly. <laughs> I mean, I I fucking know, right? Uh, okay, so so. Here's basically where we're at. This, what if I told you, uh, fight the flat earth, that this shit gets even better? Oh, go on. Okay, so so this was their their response, and Sean Hufford, I'm going to give it to you right after this because I know you have shit to say about this. Okay. So this is what they said in response to that email. If our North Liberty address is fake, then why would the IRS send us anything there? Space question mark space. And how would we reply back if no one was there to correspond with? Space question mark space. We are not required to permanently occupy the building and no signs are required by law, therefore making your video slanderous and defamatory. Its only function is to have a correspondence address for the IRS. Sean Huffer, take it away. Uh, let me pull up the, the the actual PDF for the regulations on making a nonprofit, where they actually have to have a principal office. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on. I think I think you cut out there for a second. Can you please repeat all of that again? Oh uh, well, I'm actually looking for the actual page again, but there is an actual regu regulations for founding a nonprofit organization in the state of Indiana. Oh, so one you did say that. You did say one that. Of, one of those requirements is to have a principal office. A place where somebody can go and or talk to somebody that's associated with the company. An office. A physical 
space. Is there um, specifications as for how often the office has to be occupied? No, but Mike yeah. has already admitted that they have none. Yeah, it, it has a stipulation that there is a principal office, that it's a reasonable expectation that someone would be available at said office during regular business hours. And the interesting catch, this principal office address has to be listed and available on all forms and paperwork submitted for the nonprofit to include the mailing address. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you would expect if it's not occupied full time, there would at least be a sign saying this is our opening hours or something. Exactly. Yep. They have nothing. Now, like, uh, now, now when, Sean, you, when you say nothing, I just want to clarify, was it literally just like, fuck all, just like a door, it, nothing? There was no signage on the building. Well, hang on, hang on, guys, hang on. Uh, let, let me let me go ahead and go into this one step at a time. Uh, Sean, a uh, quick question: You actually went to this location. I did. Ah, and and now when you went to this location, can you please describe to everyone what you saw? Uh, a lot of snow, a big ass <laughs> old church that has been renovated to um, accommodate two other companies, possibly a third that's a gym. But that's it. Nothing about FE Core, nothing about contacting, nothing about hours, nothing to indicate that there was any FE Core there. So, yes, I actually was valid in saying that they have no physical offices. Mm, I see. So that's not slander. That's that that's not that's not making a defamatory statement. That's literally just a statement of fact. Correct. So they're saying facts are slander. Apparently. Oh, well, if it makes them look bad, then obviously. Yeah, of course. Of course. So but uh, that's this is where we're at right now. So as of right now, I think Slice Arcane ha still has the seven uh, complaints, privacy complaints against them. Um, and I also oh, they were gone as soon as the video was taken down. Okay, then uh, and I still think Slice Arcane still has the uh, the copyright strike or whatever. Yeah. But but here's here's what's gonna here's what's gonna happen. One thing I can say is that uh, Slice Barcane is working on another video uh, to put in his place, and from what I've heard, it's a lot worse than the last one. <laughs> uh, worse for Effie Core, that it, is. Worse or better? Exact depends on who you ask. <laughs> so, better for us. So, and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask him if it's okay to mirror the ever living shit out of this thing and ask if uh, it's okay for all of you fine ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, bros and sisters, or attack helicopters to do the exact same thing. Because that'd be fucking amazing. Like a plan. So... Just a moment while I get over here to share the screen. <laughs> yes, Mr. Unite for the Children, I am giggling in the background because I'm just imagining in my head Jeronism's channel disappearing and Bob's channel disappearing. <sighs> It's it, it's it's a nice thought, but by the way, <laughs> yeah. uh, Sean, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, just turn off the logo and I'm going to turn on the, uh, the the screen so that people can see what the fuck it is you're reading. So hang on one second, let me do this. So let's turn this off. Let's turn this on. There you are. All right. Uh, yeah. So, but but by the way, hang on. I know at the beginning of this hangout, I said that there would be no visuals. I guess I kind of fucked up there. Sorry, guys. But uh, anyway, Sean, go ahead. The corporate purpose must be included in the proposed Articles of Incorporation. Now, my, keep in word that, that, that word called must. <laughs> Along with a corporate name, the duration of the corporation's existence, its post office address, and its principal office, which doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. In addition... These are more failures on FE Core's part. In addition, the Articles of Incorporation disclose the name and address of the nonprofit's resident agent, which is, they do have that on there. The number of corporate directors, which they put zero. <laughs> what? And, and addresses of the initial board of directors and the incorporators, which they wrote they would have no members, which is the actual members of the board. They didn't include any of that. And they've had these, these people placed in since day one before they even applied they so, are a, they they built their entire organization fraudulently it's amazing wait but wait there's more uh-oh uh-oh what's the more what's the more oh, yeah. tell me tell me the more it, here you also have the statement of membership rights which they gave none 
because they claimed no members. Statement concerning the property that will be owned by the corporation when it begins business. Now, see, here's the thing. If you're leasing or renting a property, they're good there, except, except you still have to have that pesky principal office as mentioned before. Yeah, it's not a, you, you, you might have to have. No, it is a, you must have. Yeah, and so the property that would be owned is actually any capital property to operate as the business at that principal location. Uh, so this email that I have that says, uh, hang on, let me bring it up again. Do, 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 do. It says, and I, uh, I do fucking quote, the, its only function is to have a correspondence address for the IRS. So See, when they told me that, what what did they actually say about themselves? That they have no principal office. Hmm. And now the 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 thing that you just read, that little Indiana Law Review thing, thingamajig, you know that book that could really fuck their shit up. Um. That 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 they don't they don't they're not happy with each other, right? No, not really. No. They, they don't they don't really comply very much. Nah. So they they're literally breaking a bunch of state laws. Oh yes. Oh yeah. We're not even going to the federal level yet. It, yeah, and I was going to say, <laughs> wait, there's more. <laughs> more? I, well, I mean, yeah. They Not only are they in violation at the state level, by historically having claimed that they were already established as a 501c3, and the IRS having no fucking clue who these guys are, they have violated federal law. As of July 31st, they still have no fucking clue who they are. Sorry, yeah. sorry. The IRS don't know who they are, as in they haven't filed any kind of tax returns or anything. Correct. Yep. And, and the, I last, mean, the last I, I've I, heard... I've been a company for less than six months, and I filed tax returns. I, I, and you know what? Uh, to, to, to make matters... Uh... To make matters worse or better, depending on who you uh, who you're talking to, apparently it's been two fucking years since their last yeah. filing of anything. No, they haven't filed. Well, as far as the Oregon Corporation, they still have yet to file their application for the 501c3 because, like I said, he's claiming he filed in March. But if you actually go to the IRS's um, nonprofit search database, which was last updated July 31st, it'll be another week or two before we get the August returns on that. Um, FE Core still doesn't even have an applied status. Right. So let me get this straight. They're claiming to be a legitimate nonprofit organization, but they haven't actually registered as an organization. No, they're an organization in the state of Indiana. They, they are an incorporation, I should say. Yes. Not even not fraudulently, not. Yeah, they're still an incorporation. Because okay. if you read down here, approval of the proposed articles of Indiana in Indiana appears to be large, largely a formality. Indiana Code Section 2371119 requires the Secretary of State to approve the proposed Articles of Incorporation if he finds that they conform to the law. The Secretary of State literally just gets applications in, reads them over, makes sure that there's no glaring errors in them, and then stamps them for approval. This is what they're taking is they haven't broken any law. The Secretary of State at this point doesn't look into the corporations. She just literally sees the paper, sees that everything checks out on it, and stamps the paper. Approved. That's it. They're taking that as, oh, we're totally legitimate. Well, the problem is, is because the Secretary of State has been informed that there was something not quite kosher with their application, she has forwarded that information to the Attorney General. Uh -huh. We'll look into it a little bit more in depth. <laughs> Wait, wasn't um, like Al Capone taken down by tax evasion or something? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yep. and, and also, also, let me go ahead and point this out too: is that part of being a nonprofit organization is that you're not trying to sway legislation, right? And uh, guess, guess what? Guess what? Uh, being a flat earther would would do when it comes to legislation. The, the government lies. We want global earth taken out of schools. We want flat earth introduced into schools. We want NASA to be shut down. Um, we want the NOAA to be shut down, and so on and so forth. So they are very anti-government. Yeah, they're very anti-government, and so the uh, and keep in mind, keep in mind, being anti-government, uh, government means that their sole purpose, their gift to the community, if you will, would be to change legislation in the flat earthers' favor. 
to give them what they want, which is basically, oh, defund all of NASA and uh, uh, teach that there's a fucking magical fucking dome above our heads in schools and shit. And, uh, and, and don't teach them at all about what the actual law perspective is. Hey, hey I've just had a, a thought, right? So journalism's part of the board of directors of FB Corps. Does that mean that, like, Jaronism's earnings for his channel should also be reported under FE Corps? No. no. Oh. S- separate entities, so there is that level of insulation there, because you can be an owner or a business partner in multiple businesses. You don't have to report income from one to the other, but you do have to report both on your individual tax return. Well, I mean, I mean, what's the chances he'd actually reported any tax on his channel? Though, uh, there's a reason why his PayPal is kaput. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's the funny bit, because they've been getting their legal advice from Anthony Riley. Oh, God. Oh, God whoops. <laughs> um, and I can actually say this as a fact because they they are now using Anthony Riley's favorite quote when FE Corps brought up initially by me about the corporate body. Now, the corporate body law says that the individuals, their personal views can't be um, reflect towards the company. That works one way when you're dealing with a company that has a board of directors. Yes, what Jaron says on his channel does not reflect towards FE Corps even though there's actual gray area there because, you know, he actually promotes FE Corps on his channel, which removes corporate bodies protection or body corporate. I'm sorry. Um, but here, here's the kicker. They all think that they're going to get no flack from all this stuff that Mike's pulling because Anthony's got them misunderstanding what body corporate means. Yeah. Yes. It protects them as individuals from anything that they say it protects the corporation. When the corporation says something, it affects everybody below that. Yep. Right. So, Body corporate is a one-way protection. So, so, so for Mike Kavanaugh to be spouting all this stuff under the FE Corps name, that is directly affecting everybody that's a board of directors. Exactly. Everybody on that board so, is so, fucked on this. I haven't so got to... past uh, Anthony Riley being their, 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 their legal advice because do we all remember what happened when Anthony Riley was in court and what the court actually said? And this is a direct quote. The court is at a loss as to how Mr. Riley has reached this conclusion. Yes. That, that came from an actual court. And they are going to this guy for their legal advice. And, and, and so 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 let's let's go ahead and, and tally this up. Not only did they lie on their application as to what FE Corps is, FE Corps purpose is to influence the government in some way, is to influence legislation in some way, whether that's defunding NASA or the NOAA or whatever the fuck else. Um, but they apparently don't know about the whole members being, you know, their statements cannot be taken as the statements of FE Corps bullshit. Because here's what I said uh, in my email to them, uh, quoting myself here. Here's another fact. If you or any member of every corps speak for your organization and while on assignment for your organization, then we can take what is said as the opinions of every corps directly. Your yes. issue your <laughs> issue with Sly pulling quotes from your organization is not an issue of copyright. This is separate from the other idiotic statements you make or have made on your own time. You are trying to separate something that can't be separated as your own recorded words have damned you in that respect. Just to kind of give some context to this, uh, Sly Sparkane pulled uh, quotes uh, from Bob and Jaron and even from Bob while he was on assignment for FE Core. Oh my god. And not only not only that, but he also pulled uh, quotes from Bob when Bob was talking about what FE Core plans to do in the future. <laughs> Uh, they can't be separated. So no, motherfucker, you're wrong. You're fucking wrong, Mike. Is Mike Kavanaugh like secretly a glober? Because he seems God, to do everything so. possible to destroy Effie Core at this point. Uh, I mean, if that's the case, this is the best fucking <laughs> prank ever. He's not destroying Effie Core. He's destroying Effie Core and six other channels. Oh yeah, it, yeah. That's why it, I say if he if it comes out that he after all of this is done. And the damage is laid out, the damage is known. If he comes out and says, yeah, by the way, guys, it's a globe, has been from day one. Epic fucking troll. Yeah, I would love him. <laughs> I would, I mean, not saying, not saying I would 
kiss a dude by sticking my tongue down his throat, but you know, oh it's, it's, it, it's it would be pretty epic if if I that mean, was the final card to play. It would be it, it would be it would be a thing. That would be a day. That would be a day. Hey, who knows? Mike might try and pull that to save face. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, boy. But at this point, there's like no way Anthony Riley's getting done fuck of the year now, right? No. I mean, it's, no. it's, it's between Kyle Curtis and Mike Kavanaugh at this point, right? Yeah, I would say so. Um, can, can we category? Seriously, we need Effie Core as the whole group. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so basically, we should have the Effie Core Award. <laughs> and the contenders are Anthony Riley, Ranty Flat Earth, Nathan Oakley, and the winner is all of Effie Core. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so also um i think you guys are gonna are gonna like this um uh he uh he says here in this email Core inc backup yes that's literally the title uh the name of the uh person sending me the email is Core inc backup take that for what you will but he says with regards to this Core video of user slice of arcane <laughs> Effie Core has not taken those videos down. Third-party privacy claims took care of that. Effie Core cannot issue a privacy violation, but the video in and of itself was reported by Effie Core also for disinformation. The video title was misleading since the user presented statements made by individuals and the individual and the corporate body are two separate entities. Therefore, the video was grossly misleading. We therefore applaud YouTube for taking action against a clear violation of its community guidelines. Sincerely, the FE Core team. So, here's what I said in response to that. Oh, Mike, you are just adorable heart emoji. <laughs> I will not have to read... Uh, so, this is the whole email. Some context is missing, but I'm just going to read it all because fuck it. I will not have to re-upload any video onto my channel. Why? Because you have a limited amount of time to get a court order to YouTube in order to keep the video down. Since the claim you made was fraudulent and has no legal merit, it is merely just a waiting game at this point. I quite literally have to do nothing, as your inaction will do all the heavy lifting in that regard. Again, you use your logo as an identifier for your organization. Therefore, any video about your organization can use your logo under fair use. Parody also protects my thumbnail because I didn't just paste your logo. I had a, I had an equal sign and a poop emoji to accompany it. Classy. I know! Exclamation point. And yet again, you also cannot claim protection under trademark laws because I'm not trying to pass off my video as being from your organization. I am also not claiming to be from your organization. Why the hell would I claim? to be from a group that has demonstrated a total lack of understanding of all things geometric. But the fun doesn't stop there. On the off chance that you decide to get the courts involved, then the game really gets good. In that case, we'll be, we'll be able to not only put your abuse of YouTube's copyright and privacy complaint system in the legal spotlight, but also the legality of your organization as a whole. This moves us perfectly into your second email, you cannot abuse uh, YouTube's copyright and privacy complaint system because you feel the video <laughs> was filled with disinformation. Not only is such a claim demonstrably false, and I dare you to prove otherwise, but striking the video in question because of disinformation instead of what the copyright and privacy claims are made for is illegal and was done under penalty of perjury. You can also say your abuse of copyright slash privacy complaint system and the disinformation claim are two separate issues. But screenshots on on your own words, Mike, completely debunk that claim. Added to that, while the individual and the corporate body are indeed two separate entities, you forgot or didn't care to learn, that only protects the personal view of the individual when not speaking for FE Core. The commentary used in his video were from you, Mike, speaking as a representative for FE Core in an interview. Bob's commentary was used from a live stream experiment for FE Core on FE Core's own fucking channel. <laughs> 
They were speaking as members of your organization and for your organization and were even on assignment for your organization. Therefore, including them and their words in a video documenting the questionable claims slash behavior of your organization is protected under commentary and news reporting, a.k.a. fair use. Mike Cavanaugh, eat a dick. Oh, my God. This, this is... Um, stuck in Florida since you're late. Yes, Indiana regulations require FE Corps to have a physical address. I mean, or, it, or a physical office. I'm sorry, a physical office. They have to have a physical office, and they do not, by Mike Kavanaugh's own admission. As they say, it's just a front <clears> so <throat> that they can have a mailbox for the IRS to send them shit. I mean, do you think <laughs> the there's IRS actually anything in has, there? The IRS who has no clue of their existence. <laughs> you, you call yeah, the exactly. IRS, they're like, who the fuck are these people? <clears throat> Well, no. If you call yeah. if you call the IRS directly, they know who they are. If you actually deal with the people that deal with the five hundred one c threes, they've never heard of them. Ah, okay. So, so <laughs> the IRS that. is well aware of who FE Core is. Trust so, me on that. So, so the so the the five hundred whatever the fuck it is office. They're like, who the fuck are these people? Right. The non the nonprofit segment has no clue who they are. Yeah. The rest of the IRS probably knows because well, they tend to audit people. Oh, and track down fraud and well, first people fraud. like myself and several hundred other people have um, filed complaints on FE Corps for fraudulently claiming to be a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. so yeah, the well, IRS is which, aware of who they are. which by claiming on their website that they are in the process of it, but the application not actually having been submitted, that would be another inaccurate statement on their part, correct? <laughs> nice word of inaccurate <laughs> I mean I, 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 inaccurate or total fucking bullshit total bullshit total bullshit okay so uh, this is where, where we're at now because this information uh, has been really pissing off Mike Cavanaugh uh, he is doing everything he can to keep huh? the information from getting out he is uh uh, sending out false uh, copyright strikes. He is sending out fraudulent privacy complaints. He is doing everything in his power, uh, which includes abusing an easily abusable system to keep this information from getting out there. Now, in regards to the privacy complaints on my last two videos, here's what I'm going to do. I have <coughs> already told everyone to download uh, the previous uh, hangout that I that I had. I'm going to ask all of you guys to do the same. I'm not going to change it from the standard YouTube license to Creative Commons because in a moment it's not going to fucking matter uh, and I'll explain why. I'm going to take both of those videos down. Uh, I need to just because I want to make sure that I have this channel to, ge to keep you guys updated but I would like all of you to take this opportunity to go to my channel and download both of my previous hangouts. That way you have it. If oh. you if you have oh. some way yeah. of re-uploading uh, those uh, hangouts in a way that you know can't be abused by Mike Cavanaugh and his group of flurfs, by all means, you have my blessing. Oh, Red, you're gonna love this. Sean and I saw it at the same time. Uh oh, what's up? The ten dollar super chat from William Peterson. Eighty two. Please read it out. I just searched USPTO.gov for their trademark. I can't find it. The only item I found was a canceled filing for a roofing company. I don't think their trademark is even their trademark. Holy Wait. shit. So their, their, their logo that, you're, that they're claiming you're using under false copyright isn't actually even trademarked at all? Oh my nope. God. Nope. <laughs> nope. So not only can it not be copyrighted because it has their company's name in the logo, it's not even trademarked. So what the hell is his bitch fest about? Uh, his bitch fest is illegitimate. His The only reason for his bitch fest is to keep this information from getting out there because he's a butthurt flurf and he got exposed again. Quick, someone go and trademark it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even fucking joking. Someone go and trademark it right now. <laughs> Uh, that would be fucking great. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Trademark it quick. 
<laughs> trademark it. Uh, can, okay, okay, so, uh, okay. And all in all seriousness, in all seriousness, I, I just double checked it. There is no F E core trademark anywhere. <laughs> ah. Please, somebody in the chat, please. Hey, Micah, this is an update email. Hey, listen about that logo. It's kind of mine now, so <laughs> can you stop, stop using it? Using it? <laughs> 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 Here's a nice one. Um, there, there's one called Feck Poo. Oh God. F E C P O O. Yeah, uh, you guys don't even have your damn thing trademarked. What the hell are you bitching about? Hey, hey, listen, listen. All of you guys in the live chat, all 461 of you. Uh, let's see who trademarks it first. Go for it. <laughs> Just fucking go for it. Oh, the, the, the next thing to do is rent out the office space in their apparent building. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, so, but let me get back to this real quick. So, here's what I'm what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to take down the last two uh, two hangouts because you know, fuck it. At this point, they've already served their purpose anyway. But please download those two hangouts. And if you can find some way to mirror it safely in a way that Mike Cavanaugh can't fuck with you, do it. You have my blessing. Fucking do it. Um, as for this hangout, what the fuck are they going to claim? My fucking logo on the screen? <laughs> yeah, where's the timestamp for that, Mike? Yeah. Where's that fucking timestamp, motherfucker? And, and so, uh, yeah, this is this has been a great hangout. So let's go ahead and see what happens from from here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, uh, if you want to go ahead and mirror this hangout as well, you have my blessing. I will be making this hangout Creative Commons as well, so it can be shared all throughout the internets. And uh, fight the flat earth. Uh, question for, for you. Yes. Will you uh, please do me a favor and mirror this hangout onto, uh, onto your own channel? Yep, absolutely. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, 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 Jared, quick question. Uh, do you think you could mirror this video onto your channel? Which one? Uh, or both? Uh, uh, ooh, ooh. It's getting both. It's getting a both. little. It's getting a little hot in here, dude. But wait, Red. There's more. Oh <laughs> fuck. <laughs> There's always more. <laughs> There's always more. Like I said, Effie so Core is the gift that just keeps on giving. There was information that was put out earlier that wasn't confirmed. Seeing as how I've actually gotten to confirm it, that they they have expanded their target group to beyond you, Sean, and Sly. Oh, I, know. I know they've gotten several other people. They George Nachuk has had a video taken down where he was examining correcting and calling out not fe core <clears throat> but bob himself so who did he get the copyright was it copyright or privacy uh it was probably privacy because it was used but here's the kicker it was using publicly available information yet again uh-huh okay. because bob has given his name out multiple occasions are they like trying for class action at this point I think so. I mean, because that that is that is where we're headed. And uh, okay, guys. So, and also, I can't say too much about it, but let's just say I've joined forces with Slice Sparkane, and legal stuff in the background will be happening. But that's all I'm going to say. Um, for those, for for the rest of you though, if you guys want to help out, a lot of people have been sending me uh, messages asking how they can help out, and so this is going to be a blanket request to as many people as possible. And this is only if you have time, uh, if it's not an inconvenience, whatever. Um, mirroring and uh, retweeting is all well and good. But what I would really like is for as many people as possible to make their own standalone video just explaining the situation. You guys have already heard it all. You guys know what Effie Core is doing. You guys know who is affected. So please describe it in your own words. <laughs> then what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather all of these videos and I am going to throw each and every fucking one of them at Team YouTube. I'm going to be like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. And just keep doing that over and over and over again. And the hope is that someone at YouTube will eventually see something. 
And even if they don't see something, maybe somebody who actually has some influence will see it and will speak on our behalf. Uh, so there is power in numbers here. Now, I am going to be getting contact. I'm going to be getting in contact with a few YouTubes that have way more subscribers than me. Hopefully they can help out. And uh, if they can, great. But have I would like to have all of you guys do the same thing. It doesn't matter if you have five subs or 5,000 or 500,000 or 5 million or 500 million. Eat a dick, PewDiePie. You know, it doesn't matter. Just do me a favor. If you can, make your own talking head video. Show no screenshots of their website. Show nothing of their email. Uh, show nothing of their images. Just have a talking head video explaining what Efficore is doing, how they're viola violating YouTube's <clears throat> terms of service, how they're violating the law and committing perjury, and also explain uh, how they're committing fraud in the state of Indiana. <clears throat> so I understand that's that's a that's a lot to go over, um, which is why. I understand if you guys can't do this, if this is something that you're just not comfortable doing, I totally understand. But if you have the capability, please make your own talking head video about this, post it to YouTube, and then send it to me. I will go ahead and retweet the shit out of it, and that way we can get as many eyes on this issue as possible. Eyes and ears, that's what we're looking for. That way, eventually, YouTube will have to look at it. And the sooner we get YouTube on the case, the sooner they can actually take action against these motherfuckers and do what they did to Vengeful Flame. So I think that's a I think that's a good good step from here. Do you think that's a good step? I think that's a good step. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, Sean, what say you? I say it's a good step. I say it's a good step. All right, then th then we're good. So guys, um, if you guys do make your video, please send it to me on Twitter. Or post uh, the link in the comment section of this uh, video. I will go ahead and keep track of the uh, of the comment section. Now, here's the thing: if it is marked as spam, do not worry about it. I will still see it. I will approve it, and I will be able to share it. So, if it's just marked as, as spam, just leave it alone. I'll take care of it after the fact. Uh, if you want to send to me through Twitter, that also works. Uh, preferably through Twitter because I'm always on there, and I will retweet it right there. Since you already posted it, all I have to do is retweet it at Team YouTube and job done. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, again, I'm going to be doing this in the background with a few YouTubers that have way more subs than me. That way we can get the word out, we can get YouTube's attention, hopefully, and then they can take action against Efficore and all of the shit eaters that is on their board. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, so guys, download the other two hangouts, as I said, because they will be taking, they will, they will be removed within the next, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. That should be enough time. And then we will go from there. Well, with, uh, a, just, with, uh, with a bunch thing. of people downloading it, it might actually take longer. Th those videos will be removed in the next 90 minutes. There we go. <laughs> so... So go ahead and download it. If you can find some way to re-upload it safely, please do so. Uh, but the main request here is to make your own talking head video just explaining the bullshit that Efficore is doing on YouTube and in the state of Indiana. If you guys can do that for me, I will be forever thankful. Team Cunt, well, assemble. One last thing. Ash, Scott, if you're watching, I'm, with, I'm still waiting for that last edit for that one picture you've been messing with. <laughs> <laughs> it needs that one edit. I'm sorry. All right, so we're going to do this. So, uh, AT2 Productions, say what you got to say and get the fuck out. Sean, I'm curious now. And uh, by the way, Mike, <clears throat> lock and load. <laughs> Fight the Flat Earth. Say what you got to say and get the fuck out. Man, Flat Earthers are dumb as fuck, huh? Mm-hmm. And Sean motherfucking Hufford, say what you got to say and get the fuck out. Oh, it's always a bad thing to see somebody commit social social media suicide. Ah, so with that, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for uh, commenting. Thank you very much for the super chats. I know I didn't exactly read all of them, and I do apologize. Um, but uh, I'm going to keep this hangout uh, as short as possible. So if you guys want to mirror this, uh, this hangout, uh, please do. Uh, if you guys make your own talking head video... 
uh, please uh, post it, post the link in the uh, comment section down below or to me on Twitter. I will go ahead and uh, tweet it to at Team YouTube and see if we can get their attention that way. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much. I appreciate all of you guys watching. And with that, have a good night.